Hello, I'm Bruce Weber. I'm the Dean of Lerner College of Business and Economics here at the University of Delaware. And uh, I'm pleased that you're in the college and possibly going to be participating in one of our experiments. Now, the whole field of behavioral research has really exploded in recent years. The University of Delaware is very proud of its recent Nobel Prize. Uh, you may not know it, but several of the recent economics Nobel Prizes went to behavioral economists like Dan Kahneman and Vernon Smith. You have an opportunity now to help the business school faculty here raise their research level and publish more research. This ultimately will raise the value of your degree. As the University of Delaware becomes recognized as a research-driven global institution of education, we're going to see benefits from your activities joining in our subject pool. You're going to be asked to come to experiments. We'd like you to participate actively in these experiments, and you have a good chance of learning from them. The subjects are asked to arrive on time. You can't begin the experiment until you have the required number of people there. So I urge you to consider this uh, an exciting way to participate in the university's growth and its rise in prominence. And I also encourage you to join the experiments and be punctual. Hi, I'm John Sawyer. I publish in Organizational Behavior and Human Decision Processes. This is one of the top journals in our discipline. For this study, 210 students from the subject pool participated in three-person decision-making teams. In that study, we were able to show the effects of diversity and in information on decision-making and give strong recommendations to managers about how to manage their teams to make adva take advantage of the diversity in their teams. Hi, my name is Julia Baig, and recently I've published in the Journal of Consumer Research, which is one of the top journals in marketing. Um, I use subjects from the subject pool, and students like you came to fill out the study. Approximately 200 participants were used. Uh, we found that oftentimes when people form plans um, and later are asked to think about why they form the plans or why what their actual goal is for goals such as saving money, um, they're thinking about eternal happiness, for instance, they're actually more likely to save money than people who don't really focus on their goal. I took part in a study where we evaluated a new product and then take a look at the advertising for the product and it was really interesting. I participated in an experiment where I went to the Exelon lab and I played a trading simulator and after they had us answer questions. Hi, my name is Mark Bambach. So far you heard from our dean how important the subject pool is for the university's mission on increasing our research prominence. You heard from two researchers who used the subject pool in papers they published in top journals and you heard from students who participated in experiments. Next, I will discuss the procedures of the subject pool. Your instructor just handed you this pink sheet with a lot of information on it. Everything you hear in this video is in that sheet, so please keep it and refer to it when you have questions. At the top of the sheet, there is a link to our website where you can create an account and will sign up for experiments. At the bottom of the sheet, there is an email address for the subject pool administrator should you have any questions. You will need to get five credits in order to finish the research requirement. So let's begin with the good stuff, how to get free credits. You claim the first free credit if you sign up on our website on time, and you get the second after you signed up and arrived on time to three experiments. If you signed up for an experiment but did not show up, you may cause some issues for our research faculty in terms of wasting resources and time. You also took another spot that another student needing the credit could have taken. Therefore, if you do not show up for an experiment you signed up for, you will not be able to claim the second free credit and you will have to do a reading assignment instead. In the reading assignment, you will read two Wall Street Journal articles and answer the questions. Please note that you, we will read your answers before deciding whether or not you receive the credit for the reading assignment. One last thing, if you did not accumulate five credits by the end of the semester, you will receive an incomplete grade for the course. So please sign up for the experiments and show up on time. It is good for you and for our researchers who further the prominence of our university. Now you've heard from several faculty members and students uh, about these uh, experiments and about participating in the subject pool. The procedures, I think, are pretty clear and we're really happy that you're going to participate and we urge you to uh, join in the subject pool experiments, uh, sign up, arrive on time, it's going to raise the profile of the University of Delaware and we'll all benefit from that. Thanks again.